Happy Mindful Monday, Conscious Leaders. So I just want to cover a few things. And first of all, being with you guys really opened up my eyes to see how I can meet you where you are. And so what I heard was that it was important that you really didn't get too many tools at once and that you were able to embody the tools. And that's brilliant. That's actually really beautiful because one thing that I want to just reiterate is that consciousness is not a conceptual thing. It's not something that we can necessarily intellectualize. We can, we can know something. However, to actually integrate it in our lives is an entirely different thing. And what that takes is application again and again and again and practicing and bringing these things into our lives again and again and again. So reading something or hearing something once or twice, it, we may know it yet actually living it is an entirely different story. And so I get the opportunity to meet you where you are and to give you and support you with whatever tools I can. And so I was thinking about which mindful, what, what I want to speak about for this Mindful Monday. And quite honestly, I believe that as a conscious leader, it's important to speak about the elephant in the room. And we all know that we're dealing with things on a very deep national level right now, and it's affecting everyone and all of us. And I just want to first just give it a voice. And I also want to honor everyone where, where I want to honor everyone where they are, recognizing that everyone has their own choice, their own history, their own background, and their own um, desire and want for, their, for, for, for whatever it is in life. And so I just want to honor that because that's the beauty of being human. We have choice. And so tapping back into values and really understanding our values more, we have the opportunity to look at what happened last week and where we are now with everything, with this change that we've just experienced. And it's the opportunity to check into our values and ask ourselves the question, what, which values do I feel were not honored? Which values do I, did I take personally? Did I actually make when I was speaking to someone and they had a different point of view from, of, than me or, or some action that someone took, which of my values do I feel weren't being honored? And then the other question is that, which of my values do I feel were being entirely honored? Which do I, my, of my values do I feel were being totally supported and heard? And in my dialogue with certain people, which one were, were some being honored? And so here's the beauty is just being aware of when those actually get triggered. Triggered, remember, can be good and can be lead us to catabolic feelings. And so it's first step always being aware. And then, of course, it's going, hmm, well, how did I show up in that moment? Right? Did I get judgmental? Did I get angry? Did I um, project my stuff on them? Did I make them wrong, right? Or did I feel supported and I, did I, did I, did I kind of go, yeah, that felt really good and I'm, I feel seen right now and high five and thanks, you know? So there's the work. It's for us to be aware of the way in which we're showing up and the choices we are making because we recognize that that is the energy that we're putting out in the world and therefore that's what will continue to manifest out in the world because like attracts like energy and everything as energy and that energy will be met. So my challenge for you this week is to be aware and you can think about it in terms of what just happened to our nation or you can think about it in terms of just anything in life to, but to make that your focus, to really make your focus being like, hmm, right now I'm feeling X, I'm feeling frustrated, angry, sad, I'm feeling supported, grateful, happy, joyous, connection. I wonder which of my values is being triggered right now. So give it a shot. Explore it. And the best part is, is that you have some people to work off of around this. You actually have people to engage in dialogue around this to raise your consciousness together. Of course, feel free to ask me any questions along the way. And have a fantastic week.